first developer preview of Ubuntu Touch is available for users to download and install on a range of Nexus devices. But before you rush out to sacrifice your stable Android installs to the gods of all that's new and shiny, be aware that this is very much a work in progress. That means you will encounter visual quirks, crashes, bugs, applications that aren't applications, press buttons that don't actually do anything, and have to put up with functionality that isn't yet available, like rotation and Bluetooth. Caveats aside, it is great to finally be able to play with something we've all read so much about. Of the applications that are included and real and working, the Gallery app is easily the standout. Aside from looking pretty damn swish and working quite well, it gives the best interactive example of how applications on the Ubuntu Touch platform should behave. Ubuntu's workspaces, which on Android tend to be blank and let users customise them, are populated by data from various different services, scopes and lenses. By default there are five lenses. These include home, applications, music, video and people. The people lens is perhaps one of my favourites. Although it's using dummy data in the preview, it gives a great glimpse at how personal and intimate the Ubuntu phone experience can be. Another element carried over from the Ubuntu desktop are indicators. They're implemented in a really unique way on the Ubuntu phone. You just drag down and by about halfway from the screen you can continue scrolling left or right to cycle through them. It's clear that they are lacking features at the moment and again this is a preview so that's to be expected. My favourite of all the indicators though is easily the messages indicator and one feature I'd dearly love to see on the Ubuntu desktop is the ability to reply inline from the indicator itself. Good phone preview wouldn't be a phone preview without the ability to make voice calls and send SMSs. The good news is that preview does support these. So if you fancy telling somebody that you're texting from the next great big mobile OS, just open the phone app. But if you're trying out the Ubuntu developer preview on a tablet or on a mobile phone without GSM connectivity, you're going to be reliant on the web browser for most of your things. The good news is that it is a capable web browser that does work. The bad news is that it doesn't work particularly well. But like I said before, this is a preview, so to be honest, I don't care that it doesn't work that well. To access the Ubuntu Touch Task Manager, you need to drag up from the bottom of the screen and hover around the middle for a little bit. Once open, you'll find yourself presented with a range of additional options for running applications. Again, this is a place where you're going to find some of the buttons don't actually work. But, much to my surprise, speech recognition does. What's available right now is merely a foundation, a foundation upon which developers, users, carriers, handset manufacturers and OEMs can build upon to make something really special. It may have a lot of functionality missing right now. Think of it as a diamond in the rough, just waiting to be polished into a sparkling jewel. <laughs>